2022 Ford Maverick is the return of the smaller sport truck. And by smaller, I mean just the right size. This time around, it's on a more agile unibody platform wrapped in a fun design that looks capable, rugged, and cute all at the same time. The unique interior with its ice cooler-esque door panels, huge water bottle holders, chunky grab handles, strong dash lines, durable seating materials, and endless storage possibilities are well matched to the active lifestyle set. On the outside, a smartly designed cargo box that can haul a 1,500 pound payload. Yeah, 1,500 pounds. I've got 1,000 pounds of mulch in this one right now. And you can definitely feel the squat from the rear, but the steering doesn't lighten up. And um, this is the uh, base engine. Santa Cruz travels through uncharted territory within the SUV, truck, and crossover segments. There's nothing like this for sale right now in the United States. It's being dubbed a sport adventure vehicle. We recently got behind the wheel and drove around beautiful Palo Alto and even up the incredible Santa Cruz mountains. The vehicle looks cool and we felt pretty cool driving it. It was very spacious inside and felt nimble on the roads. The Santa Cruz shares a platform with the Tucson. Power comes in two forms, a 2.5 liter I-4 with 191 horsepower and a 2.5 liter turbocharged I-4 with 281 horsepower and 311 pound feet of torque. All wheel drive is available with both engines. There are so many state-of-the-art tech and safety features, not to mention other really cool, unexpected details, especially when it comes to the bed. What I really love about the Santa Cruz is this hidden underbed cooler, and it comes standard on every vehicle. You just throw soda, beer in here. It's gonna keep cool for hours, and you don't have to bring a cooler with you on your next adventure. Then when you're done for the day, you just twist the drain, pull it out, and everything is gonna drain right out. This vehicle is meant to inspire people. The Polestar 2 all-electric sports sedan has been on the market for just a year. And after launching with dual motor all-wheel drive and a range of 233 miles, 2022 brings a best of both worlds scenario when it comes to electric vehicles. Lower price, more range. As you can imagine, this is accomplished by eliminating one of the motors. Ironically enough, it's the rear one that goes away, making front wheel drive and boosting range to 265 miles. But they've also increased the output of that front motor, as well as revised the gearing. So you get more than just half of the dual motors 408 horsepower. It's actually rated at 231 horsepower. And it's not only the two-wheel drive version getting the additional range. The dual motor gets another 16 miles added to its range for a total of 249 miles. This is the result of an update to the battery management software. And buyers of all 21s will get the same update over the air. Best news of all, the overall driving experience changes very little. attempts to make the minivan cool over the years, and this 2022 Kia Carnival may be the first to actually pull it off. While the basic minivan big box shape remains, the tall body sides and chopped greenhouse give it an almost Ford Flex-like pseudo SUV vibe. Oh, and don't call it a minivan, it's an MPV, multi-purpose vehicle. Of course, just like a minivan, an MPV needs to pair those looks with the connectivity and flexibility that today's on-the-go families demand. Eight-passenger versions feature slide-flex seating, with the ability to either slide the second-row middle seat forward for easy access to a car seat or fold it into a table. Seven-passenger versions can get VIP lounge seating, essentially onboard Lazy Boys. And we got our first drive in the 2021 Polestar 1 along the Pacific Coast near San Francisco, California. 
Polestar 1 is a plug-in hybrid luxury performance coupe utilizing two 85 kilowatt electric motors driving the rear wheels individually along with a 326 horsepower turbo and supercharged inline four gas engine coupled to another crank mounted 71 horsepower electric motor. All told the system produces 619 ponies putting the Polestar 1 in some pretty elite company. 34 kilowatt hours of lithium ion battery pack occupies the space behind the rear seat back, aka two thirds of the trunk, but should return an electric only driving range of about 70 miles. All that hardware lives inside a gorgeously sculpted carbon fiber body and chassis grafted to a platform derived from the Volvo S90 sedan. The look draws heavily from Volvo's 2013 concept coupe with the same sharp lines, perfect proportions, and minimalist surfaces, and it's a knockout from every angle. Twenty twenty two Volkswagen Taos. I swore I'd never do it, but I had to think back to 2020 to refresh my memory on Volkswagen's all new entry level SUV as it was revealed way back in October. If you'll recall from our original first look, the Taos sits just below the Tiguan, which itself just got a refresh. Nine inches shorter than the Tiguan, the Taos is still big compared to competitors, which VW indicates as the Subaru Crosstrek, Jeep Compass, and Kia Seltos. Inside there's a vast amount of headroom, and rear seat legroom is excellent for this class. 